Hi everyone, welcome to the Piece by Piece podcast with me, Ella, as your host. And I am here with my good friend, Precious, who will be a returning visitor on this podcast. And yeah, we just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction, tell us a little bit about who we are and what this podcast is about. Um, we have our snacks ready. I hope y'all got y'all have your snacks ready too. <laughs> And yeah, we just wanted to share a little bit, um, like I guess a bit of a testimony from, we have just come back from an outreach actually. Yes. Um, we went to Otsun for the weekend yes. with um, our church. We visited another congregation yes. and it was so good. The Lord, it, the Lord really moved, was. the Lord was working and yeah, we just wanted to share. So. Oh, also just a disclaimer. Mm. We're just going to be free this weekend. I don't mm. think there's a specific order right now. Mm-mm today we're just we're just going for it we're just going with the flow yes we're just going with the flow so be as with the spread us. leads yes yeah so be with us yeah um before we get started i think piece by piece needs a little bit of a introduction and basically like my heart and also like my friends have shared their heart that we're like on the same page yeah. is just to make god's name glorified and yeah i think that's basically the goal of this podcast and so if you're here listening um and yeah want to know more about jesus or know jesus already and are looking for an entertaining podcast because precious is very entertaining i think y'all are gonna like precious you're gonna want precious on the pod all the time so subscribe you guys so subscribe to my youtube channel and subscribe go and listen to Piece by Piece on Spotify, on Spotify. and everywhere else that Apple it will be music. distributed. Castbox. Piece by Piece with Ella. Yes. Not on the I'm illegal actually websites, you guys, because then... Nah, bro. That's but yeah, it's it's really spreading the gospel piece by piece, one conversation at a time. Yes. That's the, that's the slogan. That's the, the thing. That's the goal. Yes. yes. And yeah, let's just get right into All it. All right. Precious is going to start because you start. were like... It's have our snacks. It. our snacks. <laughs> so are we starting with what the what the training was about? What, the what was your like? You wanted to come and like speak about something. What did you want us to speak about? Um, for me personally, I wanted us to reflect on the weekend because mm-hmm. it was such like um, such a fold and like spirit led weekend, mm. and it was so amazing. Can always cut stuff out if you want me to share. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. just give a disclaimer, you guys. But it was such a spirit led weekend, you mm. guys, and it was... It was so good. It, yeah, your... I think everything mm. from just where we were just staying... reflection. Yeah, to like the message, the word itself. Mm. Like there was just a tapestry of like Christ throughout, like in every single little detail. Mm. Like the Lord was so intentional with this He weekend. was so intentional. He was Yo. so intentional. It's a good word. Guys, the people that hosted us... They were such a blessing. They Yo. were so prophetic and it was... It was amazing. The workshop, like... Was that a training? The tra- training, yeah. training workshop, workshop whatever, whatever um, was about the prophetic and like mm. they literally sh- were like prophesying at, at the dinner table like last night it was yes and it yeah. was it was so amazing you guys but like that really stood out to me like that God was like in the details and it was so yes, evident like yes. from the moment we got there mm. Mm. guys we literally got I think we got lost uh, mm. We got lost, guys. We were at the right house, and then we drove away. <laughs> and then we went back. And then we had to because <laughs> we realized that it was actually the right house. And then we had to go back because we realized that it was the right house. On that, don't move away. Don't move away from the Lord because He's the right house. Also, don't say you can get yourself. Yes, because like if you if you feel like this is, I feel like that's so applicable. If yeah. you feel like this is where the Lord is calling you to, this is where go after it. Don't like don't yeah. take a step back. Don't turn around and go in the opposite like, direction. We, we, could, we could have literally gotten out of the car and like. And, and go and, and like, be like, hey. Yeah. You know. But no, we literally Yo, turned that's, around that's so and good. drove away. <laughs> and we drove another like five minutes in circles mm. and then we came back. Because um, this is the place up, to be. Yes. But we eventually ended up at the right place. Um, so yeah, you guys. Mm. I think just to keep it short. Yeah. Just highlight of the weekend. I'm mean, going to cut it there. Okay. Okay. You can go ahead. You go first. I'm eating my nachi. <laughs> I'm eating chips, Ella. Okay, fine, precious. <laughs> the goal was to just chat, was to just have good chats and eat good food. Um, even if it's just snacks, like I'm eating healthy food 
by the way. Um, yeah, you go first. You had so much. Just like to sum up the weekend highlights, highlight of the weekend. Mm. Go boss. That should be a new slogan. What? Go boss. One of my new highlights, yo guys, English, it's finished. It's not I, Englishing. I've been speaking English this whole entire weekend. Um, Long. I think one of the exercises that we had to do was um, we had to like pair up with someone and then the banner thing. Mm. So like, like everybody had to like, was it like everybody had to have mm. like an image of a banner for like the person on their left. A word. And like with the word. Like a on, word basically on the banner yeah like. a word on in that moment it was such a mm-hmm. like affirming moment because obviously it was like an exercise i think a lot of us went in there were like some sort of doubt like uh oh my gosh am yeah. i gonna have to share a word is That's it like skeptical. gonna be relevant is it oh my gosh yeah so i think that kind of like affirmed that the lord is like with us and we just should just listen mm. yeah that was like a highlight um yeah and you can it's good that. i think for me it just was really like i think seeing how intentional the Lord was this weekend with each of us like you already said that but like just seeing how much of an overflow there was in like in church in like us coming together as one as the bride and as the body of Christ and just like coming together and just stretching stretching ourselves like stretching a muscle stretching a muscle and just it was so beautiful I don't even have like a specific thing but I think the Lord really like highlighted for me was that I am here for a reason where I'm living right now he's brought me back here for a reason for a season Mm. (laughs) and that he wants me here and you know he's going to use me where I am and um, just even that there'll be an outpouring like your it feels like like even you were speaking about the jug that's like open like it's just overflowing yeah. or like the tap i feel like since earlier this week the god just opened the tap and yeah. it's just been flowing and even this weekend i just like was feeling words and like yeah. it's never happened like that before i've never i've mm. never had that like type of like yeah i don't know if epiphany is the right word like i don't know <laughs> but like just, just you know just like girl. <laughs> just like it just felt like these things were just flowing and we were praying for yeah. a couple and it was just flowing like yeah. these words were just coming in and like you're gonna go faster and harder for Jesus yeah. and I was like yo this is so good and I don't want it to stop I don't want the Lord to stop yes. what he's doing and I like I want to be obedient and I want to step out in boldness because I was mm. I feel like I was shying away from sharing and from going forward with the word I think that's been definitely yeah. something I haven't been able to overcome but now like mm. Sunday like that that is a testimony in itself like I normally don't want to go forward and like yeah. just submit it like just share what I'm feeling um, to to the leaders mm. and just me doing that this morning was yeah. like a sign of obedience like I'm, I'm here God use me and I literally was like this mm. whole weekend use me Lord and just going up and just submitting it even even if it isn't spoken even yeah. if it isn't shared I, I spoke it out I spoke it to yes, someone I submitted yes. it to someone yeah. and yeah it was so it was so cool like yeah. I was I was really like I don't want to like be like a pride and everything, yes, but I was really yes. like proud of myself in a sense. Like, yes. like thank you, Lord, for giving me the boldness for stepping out. I've been praying for boldness since the beginning yeah. of the year. Thank you, like, for like allowing your spirit to overflow in me, mm-hmm. that I can have the boldness to step out. That you are living in me. Yeah. That it's like there's a fire. Like you set off a fire, and like, mm-hmm. and it's going, and you see it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'll eventually, yeah. like, we'll get comfortable and like you, like stepping yeah. out going boss like i think like it's really it's really good and yes. yeah it was such an awesome um, weekend yeah to go back to the um like the image that you shared now but like um like the lord just pouring out like his spirit and like mm. just like an open tap that's like running um i think that the lord is always doing that but i think like it's our heart's posture mm. i think like you could put like um like a closed bottle underneath the tap and obviously the, even if the tap is open mm-hmm. the the water is not going to go into the mm-hmm. bottle because the bottle is closed but as soon as you remove the lid and like you know the tap is always running so the moment you remove the lid is the moment the water is going to start going into yeah. that bottle and like filling it up so i think like yeah we just need to push our hearts as like people because the lord is always moving and the lord is always speaking Ooh. but it's like also like we we play a role like we play a part in that like we we have to play our part like the lord plays his part always mm. but we need to step up to our plate um and i think when it comes to the sharing thing i think that 
especially now calm there's like um like michaela mentioned like like there's more boldness mm. um I don't know, especially since something. like Wednesday, like it's been mm. so evident to me. But I think also like in that, like you shared like sometimes like how you would feel like oh my gosh, like I can't share this. Like the Lord would place something on our hearts and like it will be so awkward or like I don't know what the feeling is. Mm. But it's like sometimes like we all like experience it. But I think like um, like in a sense it could be like a pride issue because mm. like oh my word, the Lord is looking at you and the Lord is like Ella is the correct person. Like to share she's my appointed share. person to yes bring it's forth pride. the word, yeah. and then you like oh my gosh no. So I think in a sense like you, you're stopping yourself. Like inse- like I don't know but like the insecurity it is, it is, is is pride because it's like I'm placing pride. my opinion of myself above God's opinion of yeah. me, and like God sees you as the correct person and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh no, and it's, like, it, nah. it really is a pride mm. issue. And I think a lot, lo- a lot of times, eh, hey, you guys, yeah. a lot of times, like it relates to, like fear of rejection type thing, and yes. like a fear of morning. a fear of of man it's type good. thing, and yeah, man, I think like those are things that we need to it's let go. But thing. obviously, it's like easier said. God needs to break it. Then done. But one thing about the Lord is like mm. you know He breaks every chain, he will come and, like, every bondage and whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like this morning, um, Milani, I almost said Melanie again. <laughs> this morning when Milani was praying, um, or just not not just Milani, but like. Like the few just, things that came forward. Yeah, just the mm. few things that came forward, and like the main theme was like there was like a theme, like a tapestry, yeah, like definitely. throughout. Mm. And the thing that stood out for me was like victory, like from from like like the um, before church, the prayer before, like the the word oh, was yeah. like victory that mm. like we've trampled on our enemies, like we've, we've won, overcome we've, we're already on the right army. Mm. So it's like the Lord, bro, like we have we already have the victory, so it's yeah. guaranteed. So like. The Lord has already broken anything that, like, is hindering us and whatever. But yeah, we just exactly. need to believe in it, you know, just to cultivate into that promise. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you could have like, like a whole harvest full of like corn and stuff, but if mm. you like never like, chop down the stuff, chop and, down, and, yeah, and get chop it you down, eat it or whatever the so process that, is. But so that more can grow. Yes. Yeah. So that more can grow as well. Grow from but it, like, yeah. you could have like a. Like a tree full of apples and stand like in front of the tree and like look at the tree and not pick the fruits you'll yeah. never get to eat Aww. the fruit because you're standing at the tree and you're not picking the fruit that's so good so like that yeah is so man good. that's so good something okay something i'll come to it's come. <laughs> but i think just in summary or just to close off i think yeah. um just this first now just came to my mind first of the day let's, let's say let's call it that first of, of the day, the day. But this is like two th- separate things you have to use in Galatians. Jingle. Verse of the day. Verse of the day. But, okay, this is Paul talking. But he says, Dear brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that the gospel message I, message I pre- preach is not based on mere human reasoning. I received my message from no human source. Mm. And, no one has, and no one taught me. Instead, I received it by direct revelation from Jesus Christ. Mm. And like, I'm going to share the other one now. But like, just that. It, yeah. It's not you, yeah. and I think it's a pride thing. Mm. It's not you that's wanting yes. to speak. It's God that's wanting to speak through yes. you. Like you gotta open the tap. Yeah. You gotta let him flow yes. through you. Yes, and the other thing this morning in the kiddies thingy, the verse was John sixteen verse thirteen. I think it was, and it says, "When the spirit, so when the spirit of truth comes, it will lead you into all the truth, right?" Mm. And it says it. It will not speak things like of its own. It will speak only what it hears from the Father. Yeah. And it will guide you. So I think, like, I mean, we have to have confidence, like, in the mm. Holy Spirit. And, like, yeah. you know, like, the God, it's a the pressing on our hearts. Like, yes. Because the, the Holy Spirit is not saying mm. his own things there that he made up, you know, his own imaginations. Mm. Uh, we're speaking directly from the Father. So, like, yeah, we have to respond to those things mm. yeah and there's once again there's no there's no mediator between us and jesus like Ooh. it's it's yeah. a direct line so like us doubting ourselves you know like when you play broken telephone <laughs> and somebody's like i tell ella like there's a bun and then she hears something else and she like um Pass it on to Passes differently the to the message next person. On, it's a different mm. thing. That's the beauty about there being no mediator between 
Is it, there's no miscommunication. There's no miscommunication. Mm-hmm. It's only you, so like if, yourself. Yeah, so if you're leaning into like the Lord, you, you hear directly like it's crystal clear. There's no broken yeah. telephone type thing. So that's the beauty of it all, you guys. Mm. I'm, I'm speaking to myself also now. This. <laughs> so the yes. other verse was, it's also in Galatians 2. It's mm. No, the first one was Galatians 1. This is Galatians 2. But yes. my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Like, mm. it's no longer I who live. Yes. It's Christ who lives in me. When you yeah. receive Christ, he's living in you. He wants to flow out of you. He wants to flow through you. But we stop him yes. by pride, fear of man. Like, mm. we, we stop ourselves from being able to share and, like, help someone else get to know Jesus better yes. even. Like, we stop ourselves from, like, coming to know more of Christ, but helping our friends to know more of Christ. Yeah. Like, it's... It's crazy. Mm. You could, you know, be, you're not being bold enough to share the gospel with someone or to just even just pray for someone. Mm. They might not like go and have freedom in that area or like, because yes. you haven't been obedient with what you have. Yes. And like, I'm speaking to myself. This is like yeah. a reminder. I'm going to watch this back. This is a reminder for myself. <laughs> like to yeah. not, not step on what God has for you. Not, mm. t- don't keep it under the rug. Yes. Let it out. Like, yeah, yeah. let it flow. Let it go. Open the tap. Like, yes. let it flow. Let it go. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I love that. Um, I think also like when we pray, it's thy will be done. Wait, oh, how do we pray again? Guys, you I promise said, you, I know how to pray. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Yes, your kingdom That's come, the, your will be done mm. on earth as, as it is, it in, is heaven. in heaven. Mm. And in heaven, there's no hesitation. Mm. There's no holding back. And like like what Ella said, sometimes we hold on to things and like, it's like we kind of withholding like God's goodness mm. from like other people. Yo, and yo. it's like, that's yeah. not that's not God's kingdom coming. We like you kind of working. If you're, not, as well. if you're not working with mm. the Lord, you kind of working like against Him because like like with the repentance. There's no thing, in the middle. There's as no well. in the middle. There's it's no in the middle. This, this way, it's this way. Like. So you're pulling in 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 mm. some sort of direction. So when you say, "Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in mm. heaven," um, just picture yourself in heaven and think of all the freedom and all the joy that you're going to be like walking in, and like for for like that prayer to be like. Mm. Like on earth, as it is in heaven, that's the comparison. That's the standard. As yeah. it is in heaven, and I think it's so Amen. amazing. Would we be doing this in heaven? Would we be hesitating mm. to share like God's word, like in heaven? Would would we be hesitating? Mm. We wouldn't be. No. So like, have none that's that. a pretty cool standard that like that was set there. Um, <coughs> and I think um, just to relate to this, I think one of the things that I read today was in Acts four, verse eighteen to twenty one, and it says. Um, and this is like Peter and John and they were like preaching the word of Jesus, um, word of the Lord. Mm. And like um, the, I don't know if it was the Pharisees, but like, you know, the people of authority back in that day, they were like, my like, gosh, you guys, you can't do this. Mm. And, da, da, da. and then, so I'm just going to read so that ugh, I don't misinterpret, whatever. So it says in Acts 4 verse 18 to 21, then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes to listen to you or to him? You be the judges. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Mm. And I think like that should be Ooh, our attitude. Good. We cannot stop speaking about what we've seen and what we've mm. heard. And like also we, we, we can't keep it in. We can't hold it in. Like we just you want to let sh- it out. We want to let it all out. And I think the, the beautiful thing is that we're living like in a country and like we're mm-hmm. in a space where... We won't be crucified mm. for, like, we won't, like, physically be crucified for, like... We won't be persecuted. Yes, type thing. You know, you, we could be persecuted in, well, like, other ways. In, like in speaking, in, in like, uh, verbal abuse. Type yes, thing. type thing. Not physically. But, like, uh, we won't die, mm. <laughs> type thing. So, like, we have so much freedom. We have more freedom than they had some to, like, share mm. the word. Yes. And, like, we're not walking in that freedom. That's, that's pretty yeah. sad, you guys. Mm. But, like, yes, man, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's so funny in my Bible. Kind of gives me like, like it explains things. So this is amazing facts. Basically, it says here, it's Galatians two twenty. But Paul didn't like his old self, so he trusted Jesus and got a new life. You can get a new life too. Mm. You can get a new life too. Mm. And I think God wants to renew you. God wants to restore you. And just in closing. Yeah. 
Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Hope we can do more of these and that the Lord can just work through it. And yeah. I really pray that it can be a vessel that yes, the Lord will man. use. Like, if you enjoyed this, then please share, like, follow, all of those things. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you know, I just really think we want to keep Jesus at the center. I think that is the goal. Yes, like, when I was sharing goal. this, like, oh, it would be so cool to do a podcast. Like, that is the goal. We want to keep Jesus at the center. We want to glorify yes. his name. We want to make his name greater. Yes. Make his name glorious. Yes. Lift it up. Amen. It's already glorious. We just got to lift. But yeah, we need like a catch. Yeah, we need like a catch fruit. Yes, we should. Let it go, let it grow. <laughs> and we have to go let to grow, grow type of thing. <gasps> yeah, go to grow. I feel mm. like that was such a. This was so. That was good. Eh? I feel. I feel like I grew. The Lord's moving in spirit. I yeah. feel stretched. And mm. It was really good. I recommend going on outreach if you haven't mm. already. It's really worth it. It's really so. It's so blessing, even if you don't realize. It, you're going to bless, but you actually feel blessed when you come Bro, back. Bro, so it's really like awesome. I really feel blessed right now. Mm, people like, are so awesome. Sure. Mm, but yeah, Precious was my Ruby. But yeah, thank you guys for listening. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, guys. Thank you for your time. And so sorry for like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like the beginning was so all over the place. It's okay, we'll get by better. like the Lord. <laughs> you know, the Lord. Let she pull that. Brings us. it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. For we need like a way to end off this podcast we'd like we need like a like a phrase but yeah spreading the gospel piece by piece piece by piece one conversation at a time see you guys next time goodbye bye goodbye <laughs>